Have you upgraded to an RGB mechanical keyboard, but there just aren't enough color changing elements for you? Well, you're in luck because there's a new keyboard in town. The Mood Ring Keyboard. It responds to your mood in real time while you game. While you type emails. And while you sign up for anchor management courses after the keyboard reveals that you have a negative pattern of behavior. It also advances mood related technology with the patent. We, we can, can make, make that. that. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for all your website needs. So today we are going to attempt to make a mood ring keyboard. We have a little bit of experience with yep. making mood ring items in the past. Some have been not so successful. More <laughs> on that later. There's a little bit of wear and tear present in these. And some have been extremely successful because we use this every day. We, we took this out of our guest room just for this yeah. intro. This has proven itself to be durable. <laughs> I shouldn't have said it that way. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of duress are we putting this toilet seat under? Moving on. Now, how do we get this mood ring effect? The liquid crystals suspended in the solution. But before we go spraying our magical brown fluid everywhere, <laughs> should we explain what this actually does? Yeah. Science adjacent with Evan and Caitlin. Yeah. So thermotropic liquid crystals show different colors because they actually twist differently depending on the temperature they're at. And that causes them to reflect various range of colors. And that's probably the shortest science adjacent we've ever done. Boop. So the biggest problems we've faced with thermotropic liquid crystals in the past are sprayability and durability. Because the last liquid crystals we've been using have been thick sludge. But recently through new technology, look at how liquidy they are. I mean, it's not anything that we did, but we, we bought something bought different. <laughs> but the biggest problem that I think we're gonna try to solve is the durability issue. When we've used clear spray paints in the past, they've chipped, they've worn, and that's not what we want for this keyboard that we're gonna be spending a ton of time making. So, guess what has worked well? Resin! Except resin, resin is quite thick. I, I don't know if that's practical to pour over every single key when yeah. it has to have a very precise fit. Yeah, I'm really worried that it's gonna like clump up. It's gonna ruin the shape of Get the- Get nasty. Like, I, I, I wanna type on a keyboard, not like these little <laughs> mounds Rounded of lumps. Resin. So we actually have two-part epoxy in liquid form. This is actually made for automotive finishing of cars. So we figure like two-part epoxy made for cars, this should be durable enough for a mechanical keyboard. But before we go spraying all of this, let's do some small scale tests. So the first problem we immediately ran into is how to hold on to keys while also spraying them. Solution, toothpicks. They fit perfectly into the back of these keys. Problem, they fall over. Solution, design and 3D print these really nerdy little toothpick holders that when combined with washers, weigh them down. Now that we have a way to hold our keys, it's on to airbrushing on our mood ring spray. And this stuff takes a lot of coats before you start seeing anything. I am barely. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I mean, that looks like it's enough. I think it's ready for resin spray. So it's been a few days. So you'll notice that we did a few just so we could practice and have a few test subjects. Good news. Look at that. Wow. Super responsive. Wow. Also, look at how shiny and nice it is. So gloss. That even coating of gloss. Wow. wow. Um, bad news. <laughs> the, the spray isn't compatible with all key types. This one in particular had a very, very tough time with adhesion. Ah! Yeah. Oh, I hate it. Everything just came off. That right there is just pure pain. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, and even on these ones, we noticed that if we dented our fingernails into them, it would kind of separate the clear yeah. coat. And we really tried to give it a good chance. We, we've been poking it over the past like five days. Yeah. But look at that. You see how it didn't just dent the epoxy, it delaminated. Yeah. Between the keycap itself and the layer above it. Which is worrying. Which is worrying. Because we type really aggressively. We don't want this to end up like the controller where we're, you know, we're sad about it wearing. And if we like are very gentle with it, I think it probably would be fine. But uh, I just, I think we should just do 
an experiment with the resin just in case. Let's just let's just see what happens. Yeah. Who knows? It might be great. I mean, it looks great. It looks juicy. You know, on a bigger scale, doing a bunch of keys, there definitely would be a lot more wasted resin doing it this way. Now, will it settle down? Yeah, or will it just all drip off? Uh, wow, that's definitely pooling at the bottom. It's definitely, it's definitely <laughs> thicker on the bottom. Not the shape that we want. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at it from the side. It's like a skirt. Should we blow gun it? Should we heat gun it? Like flatten it out a little bit on top. Bob looks flat now. It's supposed to be curved. Like, what am I going to do? Just blow it all off? <laughs> I don't want to blow too much off. <laughs> Caitlin? Huh. Don't know where she is, but it is time to do the ad read for today's video, which was brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for all your website needs. We use Squarespace to build our website, fillyourbutt.com, so we can publish unlimited products like this blank key, for example. You know, what does this blank key even do? Hey, love, you out here? It's weird. Anyways, Squarespace is great because you can build so much into your website, like member-gated content and inventory management. Though we just have one of these blank keys on fillyourbutt.com. I wonder what it does anyway. Cool, my void button worked. Hey sweetie, look, our Squarespace website not only works on mobile, it even works in this weird void we're in. I didn't even need to add any extra plugins. Yeah. Um, and if you want to make a website, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to pull the trigger, go to squarespace.com slash Evan and Caitlin for 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. No. How do we get out of here? Boop. It's better, but it's still pulling. But it's also, oh, it's, it's removed it in some areas. What, it's gotten too hot? No, 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 no. It just blew off the resin. See, look at the corner. Oh, oh! Yet it's still pooling on the bottom. Oh, it's way too thin up there and it's way too thick there. Yeah. So let's think about why the first attempt didn't work. It seems like the resin spray was delaminating from the rest of it. And one thing that we know about the crystals is that they're very delicate. So what if they were blocking the resin spray from bonding to the key? And then because they're so delicate, it just pulled off. What if we do the resin spray, then color? Like, then resin spray, then yes, color, then yes, resin spray. Yes, yes, So it's like a more sheer layer of color, so there's still a key for it to adhere, adhere to. Will it work? It's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. All right, so these have been drying and I haven't shown them to Caitlin yet. The final form, what do you think? Well, they look different. <laughs> <laughs> they look different and they look different. Here, let me, let me go get the original ones. Not as colorful, right? Yeah. Here, let me, let me do a touch test. So this is the thermotropic crystals with just the resin spray paint over it. This is the alternating. It does change temperatures, like it, it does react, but it's just not as colorful. <sighs> my my th my thought is that I just didn't do enough coats. I think that we we're getting in a rush. The the good news is it seems stronger. Well, let's do the poke test. Will it delaminate? I don't see anything. Yeah, no, there, there's a dent. Oh. I kind of dented it because it's only been two days. Like this takes seven days to fully harden. Well, I don't see it on camera and it didn't look like it delaminated. Tiniest little dent. Oh, barely. Oh, but that's so much better. That's it's better so than much... the other after five days. It's so much better. I think, I think let's just do this, but more. Yeah, just more. Just more. And I think it's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> Your face looks so confident. All right, we've shaken on it. We're doing it. We're shaken on it. <laughs> we shook it. Now it's just a, a few days of back breaking spray brushing, air brushing. Air brushing. Are you tired? <laughs> no, 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 no. You're tired. You're not. I'm not tired. You're tired. <laughs>
I feel old after this project. Because <laughs> your back. My back hurts. We've been spraying for days. Three and a half days straight of tediously spraying probably like 20 coats per individual key. Right. Galen, if, if we wanted to sell this, how much would we sell it for? <laughs> Infinity. <laughs> <laughs> Just to show how many coats, and this is only the resin spray, not mm -hmm. even the color spray. Look at our plate we were using. Yeah, that is like quarter inch dip. That is some build up. That is some build up. It's like hard to even capture. But also, uh, one thing that we noticed is the for the first row of keys that we sprayed, we noticed that it was darker. So we actually went back and sprayed four more layers on top of all of the layers that we did. And they're still darker. And they're still darker. Well, that, you know that's what? strange. At this point, I'm, I'm okay. okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> now we just have to wait three to five days for them to harden so we can test them out and see if any of this was worth it. <laughs> Are you ready for something beautiful? Yes. Let's show them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's in, it's in photo mode. <laughs> Hold on. Ready? Yes. Oh. oh. Yes. Yes. They look beautiful. The work was all worth it. Oh my gosh. You know what I didn't really expect? These are almost duochrome. They kind of are. This is a single temperature all the way around, yet it changes from green to orange. Yeah. You know one thing though? We can't call these good until we do a test though, the dent test. Are you well, nervous? I think let's not do that. <laughs> let's, just, let's, just, let's just type on it and we'll post on social media how they do. You know? <laughs> Okay. I don't want to intentionally ruin them. We have put like so much time into I'm these. sure they're fine. The test one that yeah. we did in the same method was fine. Yeah, yeah. Let's, it's oh, fine. Let's, let's grab that and test it. I think they're good. I think okay. they're good. <laughs> so, shall we assemble it? See yeah. what it looks like all together? It looks like a juicy little candy bar. <laughs> Have you ever seen a keyboard so tasty and delicious looking? And you know what's interesting? I was worried about the color variation between the rows. Yeah. I kind of love it. This looks great. Like you can actually see the letters really well. Okay, I also, I just have to do this. Oh, just go full on heat gun on it? Yes. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Type, type a word and let me see if I can guess it. Heat map. That's a lot of letters. What word is that? Wow, you do see it. You wow. totally see it. That, that, that's a heat map of my typing. It's, it's one word. I just did it again and again and again. Brava. <laughs> okay, so let me, let me reset it. All right. Oh, love? Love, I love you. Oh, that was cute. I thought you were gonna do like butts or something. That would have been really good too. <laughs> okay, so be honest, after putting at least 19 days worth of work into research and testing and ordering and making these keys, are you using it as a phone? No, I want to see if, if my, 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 my face heats it up. Oh, okay. I was going to ask. Look at that. Wow. You got a hot face, baby. <laughs> I got a hot face. <laughs> wow. Were you going to about to ask me if it's worth it? No, no. Of course it's worth it. I was going to ask, should we actually use this or should we just hang it on the wall as art? No, we need to put it through its paces. Part of this for me is our continued journey of learning. Yes. You know, we went through all this time testing and <laughs> oh, oh my gosh it's so crazy seeing these two side by side but i, I do want to put this through the test yeah and you know if you guys want to see how they hold up you can follow us on twitter instagram facebook and other places <laughs> and if you want to see us maybe using this live you can head over to twitch.tv slash evan and caitlin where we play games and do live crafts here in our garage and we hope to see you there thanks, Bye. thanks, thanks so much for watching this video thank you <laughs> thanks guys Boop. Yeah, let's get all of them. Yeah, there we go. And I should do it just kind of like one after another. Like um, boom, 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 boom. Sorry, I'm just gonna be sitting here in silence for a second. I need, I need, I'm using my vision. Do you ever look at someone and wonder, 
what is going on inside their head. I'm using my vision. Using my vision. Use my vision. Use my vision. Use your vision. Creative vision. vision. Caitlin is going on a vision quest. Please, please give her some time. <laughs> PT Chemist, thank you for the 10 months. <laughs> kind of fun. I think it's kind of fun. <laughs>